welcome in. It is day seven and you are talking to the Meeples champion. And as I mentioned yesterday, I was going to bring a game that was a little bit deeper than Skimming and Skulking. And when I say that, what I mean is that it's the same area of the game, but it's definitely a lot more to it. We are talking about The Crew. It's another trick-taking game, but this one is extremely unique because as far as I know, it's the first cooperative trick-taking game that's ever existed. I am not a co-op person. There's a lot of you out there that love co-ops. No issue at all with that. I say, if you enjoy a game, play a game. And if you have people that enjoy to play that type of game as well, jump at it. You know, my as I mentioned in prior videos, I have a group that gets together once a week. You know, we're on a rotation. But we also know not to abuse if we find that there's a game that not everybody loves. One of my favorite games would be Dogs of War. But there's somebody in that group that hates that game. So I try not to pick it. You know, I might pick that game for the game group once a year at the most. And sometimes I wait and I do it, you know, more like once every like year and a half because I know he just doesn't like it much. And while well, I could wait for a week where he might not be there, I think a game plays very, you know, optimal at five. So it tends to be one that I hold out and I play with family instead. The Crew. The Crew is a game that jumps into that co-op mode and that I don't mind. It's something that really takes advantage of a theme. I think the theme is amazing. It's very minimal. I think a minimal game that has the longevity of this is great. Yes, this is a big rule book, but it's not really a rule book. It's the missions. You have 50 missions to go on. It's slowly making it more difficult. I got through 30 missions. Uh, I don't believe I've gone further than that so far, but it, it definitely, you look at mission one and then you look at mission 30 and you're like, oh my God, this is so hard. And it's difficult because now we haven't played in a while. So if we try to jump back in at mission 31, I think me and my friends would be in a lot of trouble because as you're going, you're starting to get like that mental syncness with each other where you start to be able to kind of understand the way each other plays, what you may do, you know, something that I do that seems very obvious. And I'm like, yeah, everybody understands what this means. And somebody else does, and somebody else does. And that fourth person doesn't. And it might take them an hour before they finally realize, oh, when he does this, everybody understands that he means this is going to happen. And I haven't picked up on that. I haven't realized this nonverbal communication that's going on, this, this play style. I think that the quality of the pieces is great. You know, you, you, again, minimal. You don't have too many of them. You know, I think that the cards are actually pretty good. And that's, that's saying something. A lot of cards in a lot of games, for me, are a bit flimsy. And that doesn't mean I'm going to complain. I'm not going to sit there and say, okay, this game is, is bad. A lot of the games we've already discussed, I've mentioned, like, it's not the best quality. But that doesn't mean it's not a good quality. And these ones are definitely, I think, a step up. You know, and that's on both sides. You know, these, these are really good quality. I love the art. You know, I think, again, it brings the theme to life. And I love that this is a game that can be really spread out you know if you have a group that you really know well you can say hey we're going to play this game and we're going to play it for a year and we're going to play you know every game night we'll play this first and we'll do a quick 20 minute session of it and once we beat the mission we're done we play the regular game or you can say hey we're getting together for a saturday and we're going to play this game for like six hours because it's fun and time flies while you're playing it and you get through in six hours probably 10 or 15 missions you know maybe even 20 or 25 missions if you're really good so it's definitely one that I think everybody should play. It's not too expensive. It's been a while since I bought this. I want to say this was like 20 or 30, uh, but it has been a bit. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be hundred percent sure on the pricing there, but the pricing isn't bad no matter what. And I think that this is one that you can play with anybody. And since you can play this game three to five players, three players is enough. You know, if you have a spouse or a sibling or a really good friend that you're with a lot of the time, that really enjoys this and you already have two and you just have to have a third, you're great, you know? So just be aware of what it is that you're looking for in your gaming group, your friends, your family, your coworkers, your, you know, the casual person you run into, maybe, you know, another dad or mom from, from your daycare or from your, you know, your kids, you know, gymnastics class, you know, maybe you're in sports, maybe you do, you know, basketball once a week, mention it people I think are a lot more open today to trying games I think that it's really expanded enough to the point where instead of it just being 
that you have the gamer and the non-gamer, the casual gamer has grown exponentially. And that opens up the world to a game like this. Because I don't think this is a game that has to be with just the heavy gamers. I think this is a game that's very much a casual gamer's game now. And that's why it has risen so high in popular view. So for me, highly recommend. I say give it a try. Find the right group. Make sure that you're playing with the right people. It does require the right people. Uh, it's kind of like playing the mind in that way, where if you don't have the right person to play with, it's not going to go very well. But highly recommend. So this has been the Meeple's Champion. Until tomorrow.